In this video, I'm going to show you an automation that watches out for new emails in your Gmail inbox and automatically sends a Slack message with a summary of those emails. We're using a really simple make.com scenario for this, and you can update the prompting for this however you want and extend this automation to suit your needs. Let's get started. We'll start off with a blank make.com scenario. I'm going to search Gmail, watch emails. For here, I'm just going to add in a simple filter, inbox, and then all emails. You can use a Gmail filter to really drill down on the exact types of emails that you want to push through this automation. So you could filter by certain words, by ones that are assigned to certain categories or labels and so on. For the moment, I'll just process all emails through this that are received from the time that I saved this automation. But check out the link in the description where I have two other automations that use Gmail and I'm going through this process to filter the results in more detail. For now, let's continue with simple filter and I'm going to only retrieve one result every time I press this run once button, or I can then schedule the automation to happen whenever I want. So press OK, and then from now on is important, I'll press save. Next up, we're going to open up an OpenAI module. Many of you watching this will already have an OpenAI account, but just bear with me for a second. If you do not have an OpenAI account, then go to openai.com, set up an account, and then go to the API key section and then copy out your API key. This is different than a ChatGPT account. So I'm going to go to OpenAI and OpenAI, create a chat completion over here. Again, if you do not have an account, press add, and then you need to add in your API key and your organization ID, which you can get by pressing this button. It will go to the settings on your OpenAI account. I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT 4.0 latest. These O1 models are very advanced, but they're a little bit more expensive. 4.0 is perfect for this kind of use case. For role, I'm going to assign a system role, and the system role here will be, you are an assistant that will summarize the key points from an email. Be concise in your response, but include all of the most important key takeaways. We can leave the completion tokens as is. Then for user, we'll go to text content, and then we'll select text content from this Gmail message. It's kind of handy within make.com. Once you select the box, then this context of data from the other modules shows up here. You can leave the rest blank and then okay. I'll make one more update. Be concise in your response, but include the most important key takeaways. Only include maximum of two sentences in your response. Let's start by being pretty concise. I'll press okay. We could test this out straight as it is, but just to speed things up, I'm going to add in a Slack module. I'm going to create a message. I'm going to add it in this private channel. Within Slack, I have this private channel set up just called test channel two for the sake of this. So I've selected private channel two, and then text of that would be the result of this OpenAI chat completion prompt. I'll leave it as that for the moment, but I also want to include sender name, the subject and the sender email address, and then email summary after. So press okay, and now try that out. Okay, so I've sent myself a really verbose email looking for a support request. Now I'm just gonna run this once and try and pick that up, see how it summarizes the email and then sends that Slack message. So I go to Slack, perfect. So now within Slack, we have this sender name, the subject, the email summary, she goes exploring ways to automate her social media process to save time and ensure consistency. She's seeking advice on using tools like Airtable or Google Sheets, Zapier. So that's a good general overall summary. And one other thing is it would be nice to be able to jump straight to that message whenever you receive it. So we could update this to add in message link and then select that, which is this message link here. So I'll just run that again, just to make sure that it shows up okay in Slack. Perfect, now we have the message link as well as the email summary. There are so many other ways you could take this. You could get OpenAI to determine if the email is spam. And if it's not, then it just will not send the Slack message. You could add in a filter into the process here to do that. Or you could get OpenAI to respond as a JSON object and then extract a bunch of different data from the emails and then push those to Slack in a certain format. Check out the expertmake.com tips video that we have on our channel where I go through how to extract JSON data from an open AI call like this. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. where We'll get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.